At the time I'm recording this, so many people are saying to me that they're waiting for their stimulus check from the government, or they're hoping to be approved for a small business loan. I can remember one time when, it, I believe it was the latter part of 1998, in December of 98, if I recall, I was going to bank to bank to bank to try to apply for a loan to do this ministry. I had been given the idea by God. I believed this with all my heart. And I was going to these banks and explaining that I wanted to do a ministry on the internet through email. Well, most of the bankers didn't have email and some didn't even have the internet. It was a different time. They'd say, well, how many email addresses do you have without even understanding that? And I'd say, well, I have about 70. Well, needless to say, I was not approved by any of those banks. I went back to God and I said, God, you've given me the idea. Now I pray that I can claim my good direct from you. And it came. You have the same access that I have. You have access to unclaimed, unlimited good that you simply need to claim. And you are equipped right now to claim it. You both give and receive abundance. There has to be a continuous flow, a circulation. You're in the flow constantly of health and harmony and love, unrestricted in the ways that you can share your good with others. And you allow God's blessings to flow through you and through your experiences. You extend blessings to others by radiating love and truth through acts of kindness and words of encouragement. You are God-equipped to make the right decisions about all that concerns you. That's because the wisdom comes to you from above. And as it does, you can and do give direction to your life. You're not bound by anyone else's sense of limitation. You are a child of God. You're not bound by what banks say or, or uh, just a check. That is not your source. Your source is God. You are free to draw into your experience all the goodness of God that you desire. You behold those around you in the truth of your shared heritage. You don't judge anyone else by your own human mind judgment you realize that they too are a child of God and they are equipped to have their good and to claim it now. You are working with God to promote the good and to maintain the goodness of God on earth. And as you do, you realize that you have access continuously to unlimited good, and you're constantly equipped to claim it now.